Sun shining on the babe and the ballpark on this Thursday afternoon. Beautiful day for some day game baseball and perhaps a beautiful day for a series win. The Orioles searching for that against the Oakland Athletics. To the Baltimore Orioles this season. That was in his last outing. Another one two pitches belted to left field. It's hit deep. It is over the head of Austin Hayes. And Ruiz has a leadoff double. For seven in the series. Drives this one to right center. It's hit well. Vavra, the right fielder, is back there. He makes the catch. Plenty deep for Ruiz to head over to third. Infield in. And Rooker line shot. Left field. Hayes has it. Here comes Ruiz. The throw to the plate is offline. Ruiz scores. A's lead 1 0. Third, there's Mark Wegner. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Irvin strikes out Aguilar, but not before the A's get a run. Ruiz with a double. He scores on the Rooker sacrifice fly. Percent of pitches within the strike zone. And that pitch hit him. A wayward slurve, and the Orioles have their first base runner. That's right there. Hayes right side, there's a base hit. So he does go the other way here. And the Orioles with two two-strike base runners. Henderson hit by a pitch. That's served in the left on a line and right at a sliding rooker. So again, Frazier makes two-strike contact, but he hit a single ball that qualifies as a line drive. Until right there. Bobber with a base hit, hit so sharply, it couldn't bring in Henderson. In fact, he hit it at 106 miles per hour. His base hits. Can he come through here with the bases loaded and one out? Yes, he can. It sneaks through. That's going to score Henderson and Hayes and San Vavra darting to third. And a hearty Baltimore welcome to Ryan O'Hearn, who is. 8-4 win. Swinging away here. Tail puts it high in the air. Deep out to left center, and Ruiz is going to flag it. But Vavra will score from third. So Jorge Mateo with a sacrifice fly drives in his seventh run, and it is a three-run second. Cedric Mullins, Q shot. And is going to sit. It just wouldn't hook. And Mullins has a swinging butt base hit. Maybe to just kind of spit on him. A little flare toward left. Rooker hustling in, and Rooker dives, and he caught it. Let's go. It hung in the webbing, and what a play by Brent Rooker. It saved one run, and who knows, maybe two. So a great play by the A's left fielder. Orioles get three. <laughs> That's it. Deep to left field. Hit well. A's, Hayes hustling back, but he's going to have room, and he makes the catch. Have it a little. Is it not enough? Nick Allen flips one to right. That's going to be a base hit. Nick Allen needed that first hit this season, a one-out single. That's it. Yeah, that hit him. So Ruiz will take first base, and the A's have two on. Well, Cole Irvin. And a swing and a miss on a long at bat. Good battle by Loriano, but Irvin gets the strikeout, and that is out number two. Game that Rooker's not only been in the lineup, but he's hit the cleanup spot. Drives this one to center. Mullins back, and that baby's gone. Rooker unloads with a three-run homer, and the A's lead four to three. 
not afraid to pick on the big part of the ballpark either. That is twice now. Credit to Mark Kotze for keeping a hot hand in the lineup. Fastballs and real estate kite. First three innings for Brent Rooker. A two out, three run home. Over the mound to Jorge Mateo, who flips in time, and that'll do it. Brent Rooker. A three run shot, bottom of the third coming up. The A's grab the lead back. It's now four to three. Before his parents convinced him to keep playing. Fly ball right center from Mount Castle, a long way back, and another home run. Ryan Mount Castle, number six in the first 13 games. <laughs> and that was a breaking ball, too. He went one day without a home run, and you know what? That was just one too many. The Orioles' unstoppable force ties the game at four. This swing here, hanging breaking ball, heart of the plate. Hands go first, the barrel behind it, staying up the center of the field. Ryan Mountcastle powers his sixth long ball. Today. And Gunnar Henderson, that's a first pitch attack. That's what Brandon High wanted to see. Gunner's going to try to make it two. Long slide, and he got in there. Aggressive hitting and even more aggressive base running. For Gunner Henderson, a double. And Hayes back up the middle. Nearly took Oller's head off with that ball. Henderson had to hold up so he could only get to third. A guillotine appearance. One, two. Frazier through the right side, base hit. Orioles back in front, just like that. And Hayes goes first to third in the middle of it all. And that's ball four to Taryn Vavra. Orioles have their first walk. All five batters have reached base here in the third inning, and the bases are loaded again for innings for Allah. Another 3-2. And O'Hearn hits it in the air to center. Pretty deep. Ruiz is there. Runners will tag. And the runners will advance from third and second. He scores Frazier to third. And another RBI for Ryan O'Hearn. He's got three in his Oriole debut. And it's 6-4 to four Baltimore. Welcome back. Controlled with his swing. See the toe tap there. Mateo grounds one to shortstop. Backhand play Smith. On to second. And Allen had trouble on the transfer. So Mateo is safe at first. And he gets another RBI. He's driven in two without a hit. And it's field hits two. On a 3-2, Mullen strikes out his second of the game, but another big inning. Three in the second, four in the third, and Ryan Mountcastle started it all. This how it got it started. Mountie straight away center field to hang in breaking ball. His six pretty quick innings to get right back out there again. Facing a Lindmas Diaz, who cracks one in the left and right at Hayes. Diaz 0 for 2. That's going to help. Smith strikes out for the second time. Irvin has four. Softly hit toward left center, and that'll be a base hit. Carlos Perez with a two out single. Just continues to hit. Does he go to the change up here against Nick Allen? Does he stay firm? And he misses badly. So all this with two outs is the base had a good ball game. And that's a line drive center field and a base hit. It's going to score Perez. It's going to score Langoliers. And it's seven to six. Got that pep in his step. Hit hard towards short. And that will do it. Estiuri Ruiz with a two run single bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now the Orioles seven and the A six.
Rooker, it's a high drive to left field. Hayes near the wall, looking up. That baby is gone. Rooker's done it again. Stay hot. Just hit the reset button, says Rooker. Bang. Heater in her third. And there's, there's just not a single moment in that swing that you feel like he's not on time or off back. And Aguilar chased that one, and that's out number one. Drilled toward Lavarin right, and he almost misplayed it, but was able to get back and grab it. The sixth. Line drive, another hit for Carlos Perez. Barrel. Three hits last night, two hits today. Drives one to center, and that's going to be another hit. Ruiz is three for three. Austin Voth, pitch number 31. Pitches down, grabs it, flips to first, and that'll do it. A strand a pair, bottom of the sixth coming up. It'll be O'Hearn, Mateo, and Mullins. We got a tie game. Seven runs in the bottom of the fourth. Diving play by Diaz at third. Oh, he was playing in. So you really don't have. Let's take a look. Yep. Just, uh, oh. Diaz, is it? It is. So his batting average right now at 326, and it's going to go up. Two out single, and Adam Frazier will hit. Well, you put pretty big. <laughs> On the ground where Peterson scoops it up. So the two out single does no damage and we're going to the eighth inning still tied at seven. Daniel Coulomb comes in the left hander. And on the first pitch Peterson rolls over and hits a grounder to second one away. Be a total staff effort. That's going to be another hit. And he's got a magic wand going on right now. Does Carlos Perez his third hit in the game? We'll just keep the bat in the zone for as long as possible, even if you're. And there it was. Down and in, and Langoliers chased it. Back and forth right now has helped create this at bat for Nick Allen. And he got him swinging. They're off speed pitch. Couple of strikeouts for Daniel Colom. And we are going to the bottom of the eighth inning in Baltimore. He's and Orioles tied at seven. Yeah. Line to right, and that's going to be a base hit for Favreau. So. Yeah. Shallow center, it's going to drop. So sometimes that playing a little bit deeper, it helps. Three and two. Pop up. Who's going to grab it? It's going to be Nick Allen. And he's got it. Huge first out. This one's popped up toward Loriano. Could have action. Loriano coming in. Vavra's going to try to score. The throw to the plate is there. He is out at the plate. Loriano with a perfect throw in the air. Langelier slapped the tag down. And the Baltimore Orioles do not score. You thought you were going to test the laser. You better think again.
He gone. And Ruiz sends 101 out to deep left center. Mullins will track it down. One 0 pitch. And another splitter. It was high, but Loriano chased it. And it's a strikeout. The eighth for Oriole. Will he dial it up a third time? Yes, he will. And down goes Rooker. Do it, big fella. Punches out two of the three that he faces. Orioles just hunting one run as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Adley 0 for four. And that ball is belted. Right center field. Adley Rutschman sends us home with a walk-off homer. Is this guy any good or what? Well, he wasted no time, I can tell you that. First pitch he sees, an 0 for 4 day for Rutschman going into this at bat. Watch this, first ball, fastball, just sitting on one, and it was a no doubter. Every stitch of this one out toward right center field. Oh, ain't the Gatorade cold, Adley?